Hello, I'm Neil Fink. It's August 22nd, 2011. We're going to do a little walk around this Bugatti. It's a replica of, a, I believe, a 1927 Bugatti Type 35. Chassis was originally built on a 67 chassis. I uh, rebuilt the engine, and later I built a new chassis. And now it has a 1972 differential, 72 rear suspension, a custom leaf spring front suspension, a 1600 dual port engine with a brand new carburetor from MP, single barrel, 34 pick 3. It's got a SVADA distributor, brand new. It's got a brand new alternator, it's been converted to alternator, brand new battery, brand new gas tank, new pedal assembly. It's got a lot of new parts on it. I'm going to just walk around with you. This is the front suspension. It's custom built. These are arms that are cut off of a regular Beetle late model. And they're welded to this bar that goes across the bottom. And then we've got leaf spring suspension right here. And that was done to replicate the look of the Bugatti. Here we have the standard Beetle steering box with a dune buggy U-joint. Comes up to this U-joint. You got a pillow block there. The bearing. Uh, this is the spare tire with genuine leather strap. This is a 3 16 thick aluminum dashboard. It's got a glove box that opens up. That's a stainless steel hinge. It's got a brand new head unit. It's got two 6x9 speakers. It's got a brand new pedal cluster. The slave cylinder needs to be replaced right now on the clutch or I'd run it. This is some custom fabrication mount here for the shifter and the emergency brake. That cable you see there is for the accelerator. That is a aluminum floor pan that I had built. It'll never rust. This is the seat. The seat needs a little work, but it is usable. You can see the engine's right behind you. It's got a brand new exhaust. It's already rusted because I didn't get a coated one, but it does sound good. Number seven was the number that was on the front. I just copied it over on the back. I'm not sure whose number it was. These straps right here go like this. They look really sharp when they're on. You can attach one of the straps there to hold the hood up. There's the hood in the open position. You open the hood to fill the tank. Under here we have a nice 2x8 uh, pressure treated support for this uh, cowl. Uh, a lot of nice wiring here. Uh, I redid a lot of it. It's not perfect, but I don't think it's going to give you any trouble. Got a 400 watt amp. That's a dual brand, so it's not really 400 watts, but it's plenty loud. Uh, here we have the gas tank. This is actually out of a boat. It's plastic. I uh, don't currently have a sending unit. But uh, this thing uses very little gas, so it's not like you're going to run out. Uh, the speedometer right now needs to be replaced. It's got an early model 67 speedometer. The front axle is drilled for it, and the cable is already run. Uh, here's a few spare parts I keep in the front. Also have, I think I have one or two 50-pound bags of sand in the front. It really makes it handle a lot better. It's got a full-length uh, piano hinge right there. This is a uh, custom. The light is off of an old, old dune buggy. These are custom brackets here. The bar across the front and there's the number seven. That is a thermometer. It's a real one. It's not what the Bugatti had, but the Bugatti did have one. A thermometer. Uh, this is the antenna and the steering. Now the way this is designed, the steering does go in and out just slightly as you drive. 
It's not a problem for me, but if you're not interested in it because of that, I understand. The seat could be replaced very easily. It's just two pieces of plywood and some simple stitching. I guess that's about it. Thanks for looking.